when I first um, went to Cookham, and this is important to mention this, is there was a life as evening going on and Myra had a baby in her arms, a, a young baby, which I thought initially was a bit odd, but it didn't strike me as odd the fact that she was holding the baby so much as the fact the baby was there um, because the, the prison rules were and it, no kids under the age of 18. Having said all of that, with me, I'd been given permission all the way through my career to bring my kids into prison at various ages. So I was in this bit of like, well, that's she's having a photo taken as well. That's a bit risky, really. Uh, nothing happened to that photo, by the way. Apparently it didn't develop. And I believe it because it's never come, never materialised. Why would why is that allowed though? From the biggest child killers in right UK, why is childs allowed in? Well, they shouldn't have been them? basically, but they were. And and the point where it went wrong for me as well was that my this is going back to Grendon again. I'm I, I know we're on the Myra thing, but it's sort of interlinked. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that Grendon traditionally right from the start in the sixties through to. Um, well, even now they have socials, but Grendon used to have wing socials and they used to have charity um, concerts at Christmas where staff and their children could come to the charity carol concerts. They could come and watch the pantomimes. And staff and their children, which included my children, could come to the Christmas parties, which I ran for, oh, I think I ran eight years, Christmas parties at Grendon. So for me... Children coming into a prison to be with amongst child sex offenders and killers and stuff like that has been something that's all was always second nature. And to you, it's sounding like so yeah, yeah. I don't Jesus think yeah, Christ, I don't think that's you, right. That's right. like giving a killer a, a gun or a, a rapist, putting him in a fucking a right. room full I of girls. I tell you what was I'm now able to say was that I don't think the process I followed through that period was any different to anybody else's. But I think because of what happened with me and my daughter, they were right to stop it. Not because my daughter was at any risk, but because that loophole, that, that little uh, bit of what was happening, natural for prisons, had to stop. So... In a way, did I ever feel I'd done wrong by my kids and by my daughter? The answer is no. And if Sophie was here now, she would say the same. That's not the point. People from outside didn't like what had happened. People from outside didn't understand it. My daughter was eight when she was taken into Cook and Wood because she wanted to know where Dad was working on a Sunday. And I said to the governor, you've got this lifers day happening. Are children allowed in? And... She said, well, yeah, I suppose so, but a lot of the staff are not bringing their kids. They're bringing, they used to bring their dogs and horses and stuff in. And I said, well, can Sophie pop down and uh, join in with what's going on? Yeah, she said, of course you can. So that wasn't a problem. So Sophie travelled with me on her own to Cookham and she went into the lifer unit that's down there and she was taken under a wing by the women in the lifer unit, all of whom I knew. I'd known them all for nearly a year. Um... And she enjoyed cooking. She went to the she, she went to the hairdressing salon first, and and just did had her nails done and what have you. And then they took her and she did a bit of cooking. She went and helped out in visits, serving. But in the afternoon, she came up into the admin block where because I'd been to see Myra, and Chris said Myra's got this cardboard globe that she wants to make with Sophie. Is that okay? They can sit and make it while we have a chat. I said yeah, of course you can. So. She sat with my daughter in the governor's office, the side deputy governor's office, making this cardboard globe. Um, and then there was a knock on the door and uh, I think it was a principal officer or somebody there said, Myra's off on her way out and uh, she's wondering if Sophie can go down to the gym. She's going down to use the gym, the trampoline. Uh, and that, we'll have a look through uh, around the grounds on the way through. In actual fact... Myra wasn't going with the principal officer. She was going with Nina Wilde, who was her... Um, I didn't know that, that at that time, but, but who later became her lover. Right. So Nina, who was a criminology student working in Cookham, who had keys, went with Myra and my daughter to play on the trampoline, to go walks in the grounds, to look in the pond at the frogs and tadpoles, and then came back up. 
Right. Because you've worked with her, it's still people looking at it outside, they'll be going, fuck me, what? man. What's happening? 